Hey, everybody, it's me, Calvin Minson. And the older a movie is, the more likely it is to become lost media, especially for black and white movies. The Film Foundation estimates that 90% of all movies made before 1929 are lost forever. That's sad, because that's our history that can never be retrieved. So many directors' life's work is gone. But one director has had more lost media than all, George Millias. And when I heard about him and his story, it became one of the most fascinating lost media cases I've ever covered on this show. So I wanted to tell the story of the filmmaking career and lost media of George Millias. I really admire George. He was the first person to ever have special effects in a motion picture. He made the first sci-fi movie. He made the first true story in a motion picture. And all of his work, even though they're over a hundred years old, they hold up great today. And he was making films since 1896. And he made a lot of movies. Try to guess how many movies he made from 1896 to 1912. 50? 100? 200? Over 500 movies. He made over 500 movies in 16 years. That just shows how much he loved making movies. And he even made the first motion picture with the narrative, Kingdom of the Fairies. And he made the most famous short film ever, A Trip to the Moon, with the famous moon with a rocket in its eye. A Trip to the Moon was made before the Wright brothers even took flight, and way before spaceships were even a feasible idea. But in his short film, he had a spaceship. He invented spaceships. So you may be saying that he must have been super rich and famous and praised everywhere, but no. Once it became the 1900s, he faded into obscurity, living out the rest of his life working at pharmacies and candy shops. 14 hours a day. But it gets worse. Out of the 500 movies he made, only 231 have been preserved and found. And the reason is really sad. He willingly burned down most of his films to get the silver in the wheels to sell to pay off his debt. I can picture him with a lighter, crying as he watches his life's work disappear into ashes. And what films he didn't burn down were taken by the French military to use the silver in them to build weapons for World War I. And what films were left deteriorated over time, rendering them unusable. This is not just the worst thing that's happened to the lost media scene, but one of the worst things to happen to cinema as a whole. George Milley has made A Trip to the Moon, the greatest short film in history, and he probably made more iconic films, but we'll never know because he sadly passed away 1938. He never got to see his films gain the cult following they did. He never knew that he and his work would be remembered so many years later. He didn't get to see the impact his films have had on cinema. God, I'm starting to tear up writing this script. But the story's not over. To this day, there are thousands of people dedicated to finding George's lost work. They've already uncovered many short films thought to be lost forever, and they aren't slowing down. So all I can say is, spread the word on him. Tell people what he's done and what he sacrificed. Keep his legacy going. Now if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go watch A Trip to the Moon for the 90th time. Come join me. Fly me to the moon and let me play among the stars. Let me see what spring is like on Jupiter and Mars. In other words, hold my hand. In other words,